today is 18 November 2018. Sunday. Day two after the tooth extraction surgery. Okay. This is the eight months old male entire rabbit. Okay. Now I'm doing a veterinary education video for owners and vets to uh, explain how we solve this problem of malocclusion where the teeth are not uh, not uh, normal, they, they are just deviated sideways and uh, they become difficult for the rabbit to eat. Okay, we look at the photo first. There, the photo is here. Now, starting with the reason for the owner coming here is because the rabbit has this. You can see the lower teeth, one is overgrown, the upper teeth is uh, front teeth uh, deviated sideways and uh, on two lower teeth and four upper teeth so, so in the lower teeth you can see one is already fractured huh? so that's the reason when it comes to seek uh, treatment now the, the condition is called mandibular prognathism that means the lower jaw the mandible is longer than the upper jaw so when it's lower jaw is longer than the upper jaw so the teeth are not close to each other. So when a rabbit eats, they doesn't it does not wear out the teeth. So it's called mild occlusion. And this is a Netherlands dwarf rabbit, male, nine months old. So it came in yesterday for treatment. Now there are two types of treatment. One type of course is just to use the the what I call that what I call it the the wrong thing. The, the the what? Drill cutter. Huh? No, it's the buzz. The one. Drill cutter. No, it's a circular saw like that. It, it, it goes around and then it just uh, shorten the the divider teeth. But they have to do it every two monthly because the teeth will grow grow the malocclusion again. So there is one method. Every two to three months, come and some some owners they just cut themselves with a cutter. But there's a, a circular saw, we call it. And it goes around and zzz, supposed to be better, it doesn't cause fracture. And it goes around and zzz, it's a circular saw. I, I forgot the name, what's the name, the circular saw, okay. So now you can see the side view. Side view you can see uh, that uh, this is the lower tooth, it's over, over shot, overgrown, and the, the upper front teeth uh, is deviated sideways, you see. So they never wear out. This is the left view. So, so there's a, a need to, to uh, do the second uh, option, the surgery, to extract the teeth. So this is another view. You can see the, the upper front teeth, there are four actually. There are two, two big ones, and at the back there are two small ones. They're called packed teeth. Packed means very, it's behind, it's very small, not noticeable by the most owners. And the lower front teeth, there are two. Huh? But this one is fractured, so you see this one is shorter. So, so this rabbit has this condition, mouth occlusion. So what's the treatment now? Treatment is to actually remove all the teeth. And there are six, as you can see. Eh? So the, the front teeth, uh, six front teeth removed. The two small ones are the, the pack teeth in the upper jaw. And of course there are two incisors the two incisors so all together there are six two below and four above okay now we are show the next slide now this is the slide showing today eh, the, the teeth have been all removed by extraction eh, under anesthetic so there's no uh, no more teeth growing if you remove deeply from the roots the teeth should not grow back again now this is just after surgery you can see there's some blood here but uh, you can see the teeth has been removed, huh? extracted. It's just after extraction that this picture was taken. Maybe we should wash away the blood first before taking the photos. Huh? Because YouTube doesn't like uh, gory pictures. Anyway, this is just after extraction. And this is, this slide is today, huh? about 12 hours after extraction. You can see there's no more bleeding. And here, these are the two areas where the gum is, the upper gum. And this is a lower gum. Okay, now we check the stools today. We shall about 12 hours after surgery, the stools are okay, you can see. 
quest solid. Okay, so now we, we finish already. Now we come to the real rabbit. The real rabbit today, I will just open the mouth to see the teeth. Uh, but uh, you have seen it from the images, but it's just to, to complete the video on the teeth. Uh. Now you can see. You can see. You can see the extraction has been done. There are no more teeth. Uh. You can see the lower jaw. This is the lower jaw, it's longer than the upper jaw. So that's why the teeth cannot, uh, they cannot uh, wear out normally. Okay, now I will use a forceps to show. Now this is the upper jaw, is shorter. And this is the lower jaw, is longer. You see the lower jaw is longer. So, this, uh, it's uh, difficult for the teeth to wear out because it's too far, too short and the lower jaw is too short, uh, too long, and upper jaw is, is too short. Huh? Normally the lower jaw and upper jaw are almost equal in length, so that the teeth can uh, wear out, the front teeth can wear out. Okay? So we finish this now, we show the, the anesthetic use, it's actually Zalazine plus Ketamine, huh? IM, Ketamine IM, and uh, after injection we wait about less than 5 minutes. Then uh, we we'll give the gas. This isofluorine gas. Normally I put it at the two percent. And the rabbit is given this mask. That come just show. This is just a demonstration. Come here. So there will be mask in. Whenever the rabbit is a bit awake, we'll put, put some gas. Isofluorine gas. How many percent? Two. Two percent is the maintenance dose. And then when the rabbit sleeps, then we extract the teeth again. So I'm not doing it now because YouTube does not like to see surgery, surgery procedures. Okay, so this is the, the way we do it. And the teeth, the actual teeth is here. And as you can see, you can see here the lower teeth is here. The roots, the roots are very long. So unless you really remove 100% of the roots, the, the teeth might, might grow back again. Huh? This is the lower teeth. This is a fractured one we saw in in a, in a, in a image just now. This is the longer one, huh? the lower tooth, the lower teeth. This is the upper teeth, and there are two small ones, the packed teeth we call it, which you can't see because it's hidden, hidden behind the the front teeth. But you can see. So normally we show the owner the fourth teeth has been extracted. Now the danger is that if the roots are not fully taken out. The, the teeth will grow back again so we guarantee the owner free free removal extraction again and it's not sometimes it's not possible to remove the whole root now the root is very long it's from here depends on, on which tooth this, this, is a, this is a fractured one so this is a fractured one so this is the crown and this is the root okay on the lower teeth huh? the, the right lower teeth now this one, this one I'm surprised my, my assistant put here because I was suspect, I would think that the two upper ones are these two actually. Yeah. But anyway, so it's important to remove the roots 100%. If you remove the roots 100%, then uh, the, the tooth won't grow back again. And so I have a feeling that this one, the root, the teeth, some of the teeth may grow back again because it's difficult to remove 100% of the, of, the, of the root, the root here. If you remove 100%, you can see the whole thing is, is uh, very broad. Uh, this part is very broad, uniformly broad. Now, the instrument used for removal of the tooth are actually the root elevator. This is the one actually, it goes, it goes into the it goes inside and then slowly break down the ligament it's deep in, uh, go deep in uh, or upper one goes deep go into the gum loosen the ligament after loosening it then uh, when it's loosened then you can just twist it slowly twist it and then it comes out uh. so this is the two main ones I don't, do they use this? they don't use this right? Do they use it? No. He use it. Uh, some vets they do use this. 
but uh, this is also is a is a root elevator, mainly for very small puppies. Uh. But basically, this one acts differently from this one. This one is more to the side, uh, side of the of the of the teeth of the tooth. This one is to the angle there, and it's quite good. But only thing, this one maybe it's a bit difficult to go far in uh, because it's not curved. This one you can see is curved. It's curved, so this is for rabbit. You can go in, you curve in, loosen the the, the root, huh? the, the ligaments. Okay, so this is how, how the process is done. Okay, now I'm going to the second part of the problem now. As you can see, this rabbit has eye infection here. Uh, it's been uh, given eye ointment. These are eye ointment. You can see the eyes, the left eye is very red, no? and the other eye. The right eye is not so bad. Let's discharge. Let's discharge. Now, on why, why, why the rabbit has eye, eye discharge come? I will show the slides. Now we need to to uh, see uh, why it has eye discharge. Now, normally you can't see clearly, but you can see there's some ulcer here. On this is the right eye node, but this is a scar. It's already healed. Okay, so we put the fluorescent stain. The fluorescent stain is a uh, fluorescent stain strips. It's an orange strip. When you put inside the eye, it will it will it will spread the orange stain onto the eye. It's, it's not harmful to the eye. So this is a fluorescent stain test. Fluorescent sodium atomic strip. Huh? This is important because we want to show whether there's an ulcer or not. In this case, this is the, the right. right eye. There's, there's, the, the stain goes through and there's no ulcer. Now this, this one is without the stain. This one no stain. Huh? So to me it looked like there was an ulcer but but it, this could be the old scar. That means the ulcer is already healed. So when we apply the stain, there is no uh, green. Huh? And also the, 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 the rabbit has no more eye discharge, which you can see just now. Let's see that, the right eye. There is no eye discharge, you can see that. See, no eye discharge. Huh? So this correlate with the fluorescent stain that there is no ulcer. Now we look at the left eye. Okay, we look at the left eye first. Look at the left eye. Huh? Now, superficially turn to what's the light. You can't see, you can't see the ulcer. You can't see because I can see a bit of the scarring, the, the cloudiness. Huh? On the lower part of the eye, but it's not obvious. So from this, uh, from this, uh, from this yesterday, you can see a lot of discharge uh, before treatment. Today is is after treatment. You can see there. There's a cloudiness here. Now whether this is the uh, recent ulcer or or it's an old scar, we don't know. So we use a fluorescent stain, the the strip we put into the eye. We put in, the, in between below the eyelids. And let the stain come down. So when we when we do that, you can see that there's a fresh ulcer. Uh, it's on the wrong one. This one. Yeah, there's a there's a green ulcer. This green shows that this a this a recent ulcer. It's very painful, and uh, so the rabbit has eye discharge because of the pain and and the irritation. Uh, the rabbit has been rubbing his eyes. Now we can see from here. No, not this one. No. Okay, just now I showed that one. Where, where was it? Ah, this one. Okay, this is the left eye. You can see there's a green, there's a whitish ulcer. This is the ulcer. It's a, it's a fresh ulcer. It's not a scar. Has evident by this uh, similar there, the green is charged. If there's a, if it's a scar and the ulcer has healed. Uh, Cornea scar then it should be white in color. It shouldn't be green. So that 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 is tell us that that explains why there's a lot of discharge. So the rabbit has been rubbing his eyes uh, for various reasons. Or the hair, because the rabbit is hair, the hair might have gone into the eyes and uh, irritated it. So these two possibilities cause eye ulceration and pain. Now, so uh, that's how how we explain about this. So this is no more. This is the we have finished the whole whole uh, video on 
the problem of this rabbit is the eye and the eye and the teeth, huh? eye and teeth. And so this concludes the video. The treatment for eye eye cornea ulcers will be E collar, E collar, and uh, normally I advise at least three times a day antibiotic eye drops. Then at night, preferably to put eye ointment so that they protect the eye. And this E collar is to is to uh, no now we don't put in. This e collar is to prevent the rabbit from scratching the eye. Now we have to wrap wrap the rabbit around because this rabbit is very nervous. So that's a that's the way to handle a nervous rabbit. Wrap around the tower. Don't don't try and hold it because if you grab the rabbit, you might dislocate the shoulder or the hips. So the guy says, rabbits don't even bother to hold uh, during uh, examination if possible. Otherwise, the owner will not be happy if the leg is dislocated, even for putting e collar. So the best is to, uh, the assistant help, help to put the e collar. The other person wrap it round, wrap round the, uh, wrap round, and, and the rabbit won't be so nervous. You see, then it's not so nervous. Although now it's tr struggle a bit. Uh. But if you, if, uh, and even for some dogs as well. Some of them, they are really very nervous. So this collar, e collar will be on for 14 days and painkillers will be given. This is the end of the video on malocclusion in rabies and eye ulcers.